All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers. After giving it some thought, I decided I do want to do a survival series. Um, I want to continue doing a survival series, but since planets are out, I want to do something different. That's the, the respawn ship. Uh, so I went ahead and loaded up um, a new world. Uh, we have, a, this is just the default red ship that's been updated um, to its current, I think this is the current state that it's in. I am in a cockpit in the back of this thing. We're going to try to crash land with the reactor surviving and uh, see if we can actually make this thing work so we can live for a while and eventually get back up into space, explore some planets. The eventual goal is to get a jump drive capable ship again so we can leave this solar system. I know a lot of people are doing a uh, stranded series right now. It seems to be the most interesting thing to do with planets. I didn't want to just use the uh, default starter easy um, base that they have because I loaded it up it's way too easy and I wanted to have a little bit more of a challenge so I am piloting from a seat that's kind of in the back of this ship so all of the really critical stuff is going to be in the back of the ship the reactors are in these pods on the side as far as I remember and we really need at least one of the reactors to survive so once we get a little closer to the ground I'm going to kind of nose down I think and try to have the front part of the ship absorb most of the damage. Uh, we are really falling like a stone now. Um, I want to do this instead of just loading up something that has a pre-crash ship because this adds an element of randomness to it. Hopefully, I don't know where that lander is going to come down, but maybe we'll be able to find that and salvage stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to pay attention. I think we're going to hit the ground first because I was accelerating. Um, try to pay attention to what direction it goes off in at least. Is it passing us? I don't know. If we don't find the lander, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Oh, great. We're going to be crashing in the dark. That's not the best. I don't even know why I'm hitting these thrusters. I'm pretty sure they basically do nothing. I'm trying to just get a little bit... I don't know what this terrain is like. It's starting to look kind of hilly and scary. And uh, not real excited about that. So, I think it's time to start nosing the old girl down here. And like I said... The front part of the ship is pretty expendable. My neighbor's dog decided that it needs to bark at me for being in my room. Um, so we'll see what happens here. And uh, we really just need one reactor to make it. So I think we'll be golden. There should be enough stuff as long as one of these reactors makes it that we'll be able to survive. If the reactor doesn't make it, we're pretty screwed. So let's nose down a little further. Try to make it so it's going to kind of want to fall back onto its uh oh god here we go oh. well I think the reactors may have gone um I'm alive for now unless the ship lands on me okay kind of want to get out of that okay ship what are you doing oh god don't squish me um Okay, the ship is falling on me. Let's get out of the way. Uh, there's still engines on, so one of the reactors is at least temporarily still alive. If the ship will stop, just settle down. Oh, reactor, I see you in there. Please live. Please live. We need you. This is nerve-wracking. Uh, are you stopping? Oh god, it's going over. Did it get wedged? Oh, I think it got wedged. Okay. Life is good. We survived the crash. We have at least one reactor still going. Let's go... Nah, that engine pod looks a little bit... uh worse for where yeah I don't think that reactor made it but the point is we have power I don't know how much power but hopefully we'll be able to find the stuff we need to get some solar panels constructed wow this is a mess it's pretty cool though I enjoyed that I'm kind of scared to jump in here I know my weight probably won't matter but it feels like ugh, one of those uh, scenes from I can't get in there it seems like one of those scenes from a movie where, like, you're going to touch stuff and the whole ship is going to fall off the cliff further. 
All right, where can I actually get in here? I don't have a lot of hydrogen. We're gonna have to make a pathway at some point out of some some sort of stairs or something to get in and out of here. And it's gonna be really scary. What is that? Is that a is that a light? No, it's just a tree that's glowing for some reason. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really scary trying to um, salvage stuff from the ship because it's pretty precariously perched right now. We kind of like to get inside. Just <laughs> that landing gear. Did it actually lock on it? That's funny. That's pretty funny. I wish the landing gear had stopped the whole ship, but man, how am I gonna get up there with no hydrogen? Um, well, there's my seat. Let's take off our helmet, because there's oxygen on this planet, and I'm just being silly. Uh, I think that's all debris from the ship up there, too. Yeah, the landing gear's pretty funny. Oh, my God. This is not the most excess. I wish we hadn't landed. I wish we'd landed in a field or something. Well, those hangar doors survived, which is probably kind of... Why am I... How did I just hurt myself? I don't even understand what's happening here. I'm getting hurt in a very mysterious fashion. And it's making me nervous because I don't want to die due to some glitch. There we go. Alright, so I think we're just going to have to fly... Why is there no oxygen? Did I not... This planet doesn't have oxygen? Um... It's an Earth-like planet. I thought they all had oxygen. Crap. <laughs> well, that's going to add a new wrinkle to things. Why does this not have oxygen? Oh, this is going to be so difficult. I don't even know if there's anywhere to... Uh, recharge. Because I don't know if we have oxygen. I'm going to have to use so much hydrogen just trying to get around the ship... I need energy right now. God, I don't even know what just happened. I hurt myself getting through a door. This is all bad. Very bad. Alright, well there's... Ugh, it's so disorienting too. Uh, I need tools, because I'm just going to cut these doors out, because they're just going to be... an issue. Oh, now there's oxygen! Now... Oh, there's... There, hmm... This makes no sense. I definitely thought that these Earth-like planets all had oxygen. That's going to be disappointing if there's no oxygen. I don't really care what happens to these components. I would rather gather them, but we just got to get through these doors. Although, maybe I should leave an airlock. Well, I can't, because there's so many hole breaches. <sighs> yeah, there's just so many hole breaches around here. I don't even know if there's a seat that survived. Oh, God. Why can't you not go up the ramp? There you go. Oh, gravity seems to be really funky. I can't see anything. I don't want to not use the light more than I have to because it uses power. Very nervous about this oxygen situation. It's telling me that the oxygen is high on the planet. Why? I wonder if that's a glitch or something? Because it's definitely saying that there's oxygen on the planet, from what I'm understanding there. Because I don't think that's just telling me that there's oxygen in my helmet, because that would be stupid. I I don't know. Because, like, wouldn't you want to know that there's oxygen? Why does it feel like the ship is moving? There's stuff banging around and stuff, too. Are we falling the rest of the way down this hill? Alright, is this... There's seats there, so I can at least... Pr Ow. Would stuff po possibly stop hitting me? Alright. Well, at least... There's a medical bay. Can we get oxygen through this? No. 
No, we cannot. How do you not have oxygen, planet? Uh, is there somewhere here that I can get a look at the cargo on the ship? Do we have any... We have oxygen generators that survived. And we have a filled oxygen tank. Okay. So we have oxygen if we can find it on the ship and figure out where it is. So we have 100% filled tank somewhere. I'm going to have to explore. Um pretty quick I hope we have some oxygen bottles I should probably go turn off the thrusters and stuff too just so that we're conserving whatever power we have we should probably figure that situation out as well let's have a seat can I can I access this stuff from here let's see uh, thrusters all of you off um, probably turn off the gyroscopes I don't know if they're really doing anything right now uh, we'll leave the lights on the batteries are charging? What are the batteries doing? I don't know. Um, let's turn off the... Obviously turn off the gravity generator. There's no reason to have that. Uh, missile turret, you can probably be turned off for now. There's a Gatling turret we can turn off. Um, anything else? Obviously, the oxygen generators aren't doing any good. Reactor, how are you? Current output, how much? Alright, we have a decent amount of uranium. We're going to want to scrap the large reactor and build the small one, though. The small, large ship one. Because that's really not helping anything. I don't understand this oxygen situation at all. It's pissing me off. But uh, I'm going to go explore the ship for a little bit and try to find out where the oxygen... Actually, let's do... Oxygen tank. Um, show on HUD. Does that work right now? Oxygen tank. It's that way somewhere. This is very annoying, all the stuff banging around. Okay, so obviously we have to go downstairs here. The game kind of gets confused, I think, too, about what's going on. Um, is there a door here that goes off to a different section of the ship? Where the hell is this tank? I am confused. Well, there's the hangar. Is there any cargo stuff left in the hangar, I wonder? Because I'm pretty sure there was a cargo container down there. Oh, dear God. Um. All the stuff banging around here is very disconcerting. Why did that not go onto my menu here? Okay. Just got to grind this door down too. We're only at 50% oxygen, that's not good. If I die, at least I'll respawn on the ship, I guess. I'd really rather not die, it's kind of cheesy. If I can't figure out where this oxygen tank is. We need to find an oxygen bottle. Okay, that, that banging. We're gonna have to go collect that stuff if we can find a cargo container. No, no. Okay. Just wanted to make sure there was a floor there. And yeah, we're definitely gonna have to have a look around to see if we can find a, a cargo container so we don't have all this stuff, because who knows what components are gonna be important at this point, too. I didn't check to see if we have a refinery still alive on this thing. Why are the front hangar doors open? Or the rear hangar door, I guess it is. I remember there being a cargo container in here, unless I'm crazy. There Are there two? There's two. And I... Let's see. There's nothing in this one, but we'll store... Actually, I kind of want to hold on to the steel plates. We'll store that stuff... Because we the steel plates are going to be useful for building little gat... You know, things to get around. What do we get here? We got oxygen? Okay. Oxygen generator 2. 
Where are you, oxygen generator two? You are both oxygen generator. Okay, just auto refill those bottles if you can. You can't, and we can't access those. So where is this oxygen generator? It has stuff in it. We need those. Um, who knows which oxygen generator two it actually even is too, because. For whatever reason, there's two of them showing up as the same name. Ugh, this is terrible. I wonder if I save and reload if it will recognize that this planet has an atmosphere. I mean, I am just assuming that it's supposed to. Due to the nature of it being a uh, Earth-like planet, I thought it would have an Earth-like atmosphere. Maybe I'm wrong about... Why does that happen? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Who knows? I wish that these oxygen generators were a little easier to find, though. I'll tell you what. I'll feel a lot better when I can breathe. I don't know why they won't refill that. Oh, because I turned off the generator. Well, I realized that one part. I was about to say, I don't know why I won't refill those uh, oxygen bottles, but I turned off the oxygen generator, I think. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. We'll see when we get there. We're only 25 meters, 26 meters away from this thing. It can't be that far away. I don't know the layout of this ship particularly well anymore because it's kind of been rearranged quite a bit. I'm going to be leaving more components just bouncing around here. Okay, this looks kind of promising, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a corridor. Definitely need some light in here, though. Okay, so it's in that engineering section. How am I going to get over there? There's, There's got to be a way to cross over. Unless it's beyond this thing that's all screwed up down here. Which is very possible. It's exceedingly possible. Can we cut through here, I wonder? Stand off to the side so the components don't smack me. No, that just goes outside. We're close to being here. Let's try cutting here. I just need to find a pathway. This is, this is looking good. Alright, I'm feeling good about this. Aha! Where are we? There's an air vent. Damn it, man. I have no idea how I'm supposed to. I don't even know if that's really an accessible part of the ship that this is supposedly at. So let's just fly over. Oh, dear God, why am I falling? Did I not have my. Yeah, I did not have my inertial dampers on. That's not good. Not good. Turn off, turn off, turn off. Just gonna kinda keep trying to get over that way, I guess. Losing a lot of components. Alright, we're back in the stupid ship again. This is terrible. What's in here? Nothing. Let's get rid of that stuff. Control pin. I wanna check something air vent I wonder which air vent that is it doesn't really matter depressurize I wonder if that's actually doing anything all right so I'm actually gonna exit out of the game come back and see if this fixes the oxygen and I'm gonna end this episode here for today when we come back we'll see if where's oxygen thanks for watching